if you're having a rough day i say go get yourself something nice because at the end of the day you're still gonna have a rough day but at least now you have cute clothes that's terrible advice do not take advice from a shopaholic hello everyone welcome back to my channel i'm very excited for today's video because i'm going to be talking about the princess aesthetic i get so many requests and questions and a whole bunch of like video ideas to make on tiktok and i thought i would just like put it all in this one video so basically today i'm going to be talking about um how to achieve that pinterest princess girly girl look i'm going to talk about some pieces that you definitely need in your wardrobe if you want to achieve this aesthetic i'm also going to be talking about where you can shop and just basically some styling tips and things that i like to do where i get my inspiration from and all of that stuff i'm so excited because i've been meaning to make this video for so long but i just didn't know how to go about doing it so if you are interested in creating this pinterest vibe for yourself or just for your instagram feed or whatever it is then keep on watching this video i'm gonna start off by saying the signature a piece of clothing is dresses so you have to own like a thousand dresses in your closet i do have to say my dream is to own a silky dress and i wasn't sure how i felt about it because they were so expensive i mean they are so expensive but i keep seeing all these amazing pinterest pictures of these girls styling these dresses and just wearing them to like it's like the museum the park whatever and i'm just like I have to have one in my life. So I did a wild thing the other night and I purchased a silky dress and I have no regrets because it is so beautiful. I can't wait to wear it this spring or early summer. So I'm not saying everyone needs to own a silky dress. They are very pricey, yes, but there's some other places where you can shop for dresses. For example, some of my favorite places that I've shopped are Shop Cider, Zara, Nasty Gal, Boohoo. I love those shops for like little summer dresses. I think they're so beautiful. Also, there's this website called J.ing, which I've done collabs for them before and they have really pretty dresses. They're kind of like dupes of some silky dresses. Um, I do have one of their dresses and it is kind of similar to a silky dress. Looking for high-end dresses, I highly recommend Silky, of course, for Love and Lemons. I love their stuff so much. I would literally die to own every single dress that they've created. Like, I just love everything about them. I just, yes. <laughs> House of CB also has really, really, really cute dresses. I also have one of their dresses on my summer wish list which i'm waiting for it to come back in stock so i can get that <laughs> but those are just some of like the sites that i use to get my dresses and most of them are very like super affordable but sometimes when i just feel like i need to splurge or i need something nice in my life i'll go all out and i'll just buy a little something extra for myself so the next item on the list that i am absolutely obsessed with are corset tops and i think ever since bridgerton has aired on netflix like everyone's just been going crazy i feel like that trend slowly like died down but for the girly girls it did not die for us because that's literally all that i see people wear in the spring and summertime and i love it I love it so much i just love how you can dress it up and down and you can make it into like super extra look but you can also make it super casual and super like comfy at the same time i just love the feminine touch of corsets i just love them with jeans it's like super casual but then you have like this girly flirtiness to the outfit which i really really love some of my favorite places to shop for corset tops are pretty little thing i like white fox boutique asos boohoo nasty gal as well those same sites i definitely would recommend the same sites that i mentioned for dresses house of cb for love and lemons they have amazing corset tops i just love that you can wear stuff over corset tops and you can also wear it under corset tops so it's like super modest at the same time but then there's also tops that are just made for just wearing like it's 
a top but there's like boning in it and then maybe like the little corset like detailing in the back for a more like corset look but i just love the way they look i just love the detailing if you are trying to achieve this princess aesthetic they are a must for your wardrobe like an everyday must and also the ones that i got i just love them so much also amazon amazon have like those very corset corsets and i just love putting them over my dresses they are like the girliest little tops ever and you'll just feel like a little princess in them all the time i would describe my style as girly with a hint of preppiness and i do love a good tennis skirt look and i just feel like every girl should own a tennis skirt in her closet or a skater skirt or just any kind of like pleated skirt i feel like it's a must even if you're not a girly girl, I just feel like you can dress it up, dress it down, you know, in so many different ways. Um, but for our princesses, um, I definitely would recommend a tennis skirt or some kind of pleated skirt because it just goes with anything and everything. I love that I can dress it up with a pretty little blouse with flats and if i'm feeling a bit comfy or casual, I'd wear it with some nice sneakers and an oversized sweatshirt that kind of preppy look is also very girly as well um and it's also like a very comfy girly style which i love so much I have an obsession with like oversized sweatshirts literally just bought a couple and i can't wait to wear them in early spring because they're just so comfortable i hated sweats my whole life and then all of a sudden i land on preppy girl pinterest and i'm obsessed just obsessed okay so next we're going to talk about comfy pants a lot of girly girls aren't really into like jeans and like the mom jeans or like baggy jeans but i feel like that's like the thing that's the trend that's what everyone's talking about everyone hates skinny jeans now i personally love them i wear them all the time and they're never gonna go out of style for me they're never gonna be like ugly to me because I grew up with them and I love them but I'm also really into the mom jeans that's like tight on the waist, slightly baggy the bottom so that I can wear heels or sandals or I can even wear like a pair of comfy sneakers what I really do love about those kind of jeans is that you can wear a tight corset top and it's an instant girly girl look and everything is just like so put together and so comfy you're not only stylish but you're also very comfy you're also very casual and you're not overdoing it too much so i really like that about mom jeans and just like a nice little top definitely a corset top i've been really into like jeans and corsets that's how like most fashion tiktokers style like corsets is with like baggy mom jeans also like high-waisted definitely they have to be high-waisted um and also high-waisted shorts everything that i wear that's bottoms have to be high-waisted or else i won't wear it another thing that i wanted to point out is that anything that's puffed sleeve or satin or lacy is a must like just a total must like those very pretty lacy like bra tops from victoria's secret i love those they are so comfortable um, I love that I can literally wear them as a top and then just throw a cardigan over it. I just love how it adds such a girly, flirty look to my outfit and that's kind of like the vibe we're going for here. Another piece of clothing that I want to talk about is cropped cardigans and I know I mentioned this so many times on my TikToks on how to dress girly. love anything that's cropped, crop tops, crop jackets. You can wear crop cardigans as a shirt because it's just the right length um unbutton it wear a little bralette under that's not too much um or just button it up with some high-waisted shorts or high-waisted pants or even a tennis skirt i love how that looks um it's one of my favorite like casual look and with some ballet flats or even socks and sneakers i know i've been mentioning sneakers a lot and i actually really like how they look with certain looks maybe it's because i'm a reader and i'm into like that academia type of style i just love it i feel like you can definitely dress like a girly girl while wearing sneakers the last thing i want to talk about are accessories this is like 
so hard for me sometimes because I over accessorize but then like there's no such thing as over accessorizing jewelry and handbags and we all know the little mini shoulder handbags made their comeback they're super popular and i love them so much i've been meaning to find like a pearl handbag a lot of girls like stylos in like pretty pink dresses photos and i have yet to find one that it's actually like wearable like i can actually put stuff in it not just like for show i definitely recommend getting um pearl handbag though they look really nice so for like jewelry i like to keep it a little bit simple so i'll always wear like a statement necklace i'll always wear like my pearl necklace or my name necklace or like the little gold chain um i try not to go too much because the outfit is already so much if i'm wearing a simple outfit like just say jeans and a little crop top or crop cardigan i'll go all out with accessories i'll go with the hoops i'll go with like three necklaces i'll go with like full hands with rings because i love rings i'm wearing a pretty princess dress i'll keep it very simple i'll wear like pearls or i'll wear like these little gold hoops which i keep on all the time because i always forget to wear earrings and i'll just like keep it very simple with the rings i'll always wear like my favorite rings or i wear like um just like one little ring like ditch the necklace and just go with like my bigger hoops so that i just have like something going on up here so for like hair accessories definitely ribbons and bows are just like so popular right now etsy have a lot of little small businesses that sells them i will be checking them out and let you guys know um but definitely for hair accessories pretty headbands ribbons and bows also another type of like accessory that i'm just obsessed with the bow heels like the bow rhinestone heels to die for i know there are some dupes on amazon i've been meaning to check them out bow heels are so trendy it's just i just love the whole concept of them like if i can just own every color of bow heels in every different style i think i would never complain about life ever again so my top three obsession right now are bow heels, ribbons and bows, and feather trim. Like anything that's feather trim, I want it. I totally like it more on pajamas. I feel like they're so sophisticated, like super girly, and I love that. Um, it just makes me feel like Blair Waldorf, just lounging around in her room in her fancy pajamas. Um, I know there's the site called Sleepers, I think. Um, they have like the best, cutest fur trim pajamas and I've been meaning to buy one just to take photos in, honestly. But also, I'll feel like a princess in them. I can already tell because they're just so cute. I'll tell you that sometimes just treating yourself to something nice, even if you're just not having a bad day or whatever, um, just do it because then it'll just prevent you from having a bad day honestly um even if it's chocolates or roses or a nice dress i say do it i think i covered almost everything from how to achieve this princess aesthetic i really hope that this makes sense um if you have any questions just drop them in the comments or dm me on instagram i will be more than happy to answer them i am not a pro at this aesthetic this is just like things that i do or that i find kind of works i just really love it and i just feel like it's something that i kind of just relate to because i love the whole pink and girly and just like princess stuff and i'm just never gonna grow out of it um so call me childish all you want it's just me it's just who i am yeah most of you guys ask where i get my inspiration from honestly pinterest has been like the best app ever and that's been my inspiration for so long literally i make a board for everything i even have a secret board where i want certain things like certain things that I want to recreate or certain things that I want to buy. It's kind of like my manifestation board kind of. I highly recommend getting a Pinterest and you should totally follow me for inspiration on there because it has saved me so much time and energy when I have to go like take photos out because I have my inspiration already. I know what I want to do and I definitely plan my day ahead. I get my inspiration from Pinterest. I also get my inspiration from Instagram as well. I follow 
most of these girls that I showed in this video, I follow most of them and I love them so much. I love their style and I aspire to be just as successful as they are. They are my inspiration. I just love the whole vibe like these girls kind of create for the girly community and I'm very like happy to be a part of it. I really had fun putting together this video and ideas and just basically things that I am excited for for the summer and the spring. This video is making me want to go shop so <laughs> I'm probably gonna go shop right after I finish editing this video. But yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe, share with your girly friends, and happy shopping, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!